Hello, welcome to today's video. We are now on pages 34 and 35. So of the Uke book. Today we're going to be talking about lesson five, dotted half notes. So the dotted half note, as we know from the uh, from our flashcards, three beats, one, two, three. Three beats, played on E, one, two, three, mute. Played on D, one, two, three, mute. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here. It says, of course, the dot is placed in front of the note on the right side, and that indicates adding another half or adding another value to the beat of half of the value. So if it's a half note, it's going to be half the value additionally, half a value meaning a quarter note, so three beats and all. Okay, so a dot placed after increases by half value. Um, let's see the traditional song, When the Saints Go Marching In, as we see there on page 34. Um, will give you a chance to work on your notes and rhythms, including quarter rests and half dotted half notes. So let's go ahead and get started, please. And we're going to go ahead and play, or excuse me, we're going to clap and say the note name. So don't forget to show the rests. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, rest. C, E, F, G, two, three, four, rest. C, E, F, G, two, three, four, rest. C, E, F, G, two, E, two, C, two, E, two, D, two, three, four, rest. E, E, D, C, two, three, C, E, two, G, 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 F, two, three, rest, F, E, F, G, two, E, two, C, two, D, two, and then C, two, three, four, and release. Very good. Now let's go ahead and get started. Starting with C, we don't have a D there. Uh, we have some Ds coming up soon, so let's get ready. And begin. Ready? One, two, three, four, rest. C, E, F, G, two, three, four, rest. C, E, F, G, two, three, four, rest. C, E, C, E, F, G, two, E, two, C, two, E two D two three four rest E E D C two three C E two G G G F two three rest F E F G two E two C two D two and then C two three four mute. Very nice piece. We were able to work on all of our rhythms. Thank you for playing with the dotted half note. Notice here uh, on page thirty seven. Uh, this is more about the dotted half note. The dotted notes. You will learn more about these notes. Um, we have here some mention of legato and staccato. So we're going to be mentioning that in uh, another exercise called the five note exercise. For those that are familiar with my piano lessons, that is equivalent to the five finger exercise. So it says here, when you play melodies, each note should last for its full duration. Quarter note being one beat, half note two, quarter, whole note four, dotted half note three. Um, it says here the sound should not stop until the next note or rest sounds. This type of note articulation is called legato. So if we were to play the five note exercise, we don't want any interruptions or mutes in between the notes. We want them to ring fully until we go to the next note. That's called legato. So here's an example. Okay, so there is our five no exercise, legato. Uh, it says here, legato is not usually indicated in music. It is assumed 
depending on the style or your preference. The alternative to legato is staccato, also non-legato, which I like to include in my music, which means that the notes are detached. Staccato is indicated by dots either above or below the notes, as you can see there in the box on page 34. Uh, let's see. Opposite step. Do not confuse staccato dots with rhythmic dots, which appear to the right of the note hand. So that's just a little caution. And the staccato, the notes, the dots are either above or below. The dotted half note or quarter note, the dots are going to be on the right side of the note. Okay, so try not to confuse the two. Let's now go over to page number 35. And this is lesson six, natural notes on the strings on the something strings. I'm not sure what that says. It says here below are the notes on the first, oh, the first string, followed by an exercise. In the exercise, it says here, watch out for a note that snuck in from the second string. So that's our exercise, okay? And that's going to be, of course, E right there. All right, so we're going to learn these three new notes, and that completes our C scale. Let's go ahead and start off with open string E. It's going to be open string A. Open string A, and that's going to be with no frets. That's the top string there. Finger number two, fret two. B. Finger number three, fret three. C. Let's go over those again. A. B. C. Let's go backwards. C, B, A. And once again, A, B, C, C, B, A. Very good. Let's go ahead and play this exercise number 22, starting with A. Let's say the note names. One, two, three, four. A, B, C. Remember when bringing down C from A, bring down both fingers, okay? Two and three on frets two and three. C, B, two. A, C, B, C. Here comes E, B, A, two. Very good. All righty, thank you. And then the last little lesson down there at the bottom. We're going to be lesson number seven, the C major scale. We can include this, I suppose, with the five note exercise. It says here, a scale is a collection of notes. It is eight notes in all, moving by step to make melodies and chords. So we may have been learning about this in the, uh, the solfege exercise. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's a C scale right there. So let's go ahead and talk about the C scale here. We're just gonna play starting from the bottom, we're gonna work our way up, and then we're gonna come back down. As regard in regards to the whole step, half step in between, we'll talk about that in our lesson, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with C. As we say the note, let's or actually play the note. Let's go and say it. Start with the thumb playing string C. Okay, here we go. C, D, E, F, G, and now the new notes, A, B, C, to the top of the scale, now let's go back down, C, B, A, go back down, G, F, E, D, C. There's our C scale. So you may have noticed that as I'm plucking my strings, either on string E or string A, I like to use my thumb to push down and serve as an anchor as I'm plucking with I and M fingers. And I'd like for you to develop that habit as well. Don't just bring them out like this without any kind of anchor. Use your thumb as an anchor. And of course, when using the thumb to pluck itself, you'll use these fingers 
to push upwards as an anchor itself as well. Let's go over that scale once more. Ready? Here we go. One, two, say the notes and go. C, D, E with the fingers, F, G, move up, A, B, C, always rotating from I to M, C, B, A, move down, G, it kind of hard and it kind of came off the bridge here all righty very good so let's go ahead and practice these scales notes getting to know the top strings here as well and we'll see you at next lesson bye bye